Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another entrepreneur video, you guys. video is my Q&A business question and answering. So this is going to be my Q&A you guys for business. I do want to do another Q&A where you guys can ask me anything. You can ask me any advice or anything like that. That will be coming very very soon. Actually you guys can drop your question down below. Anything you want to ask me as far as YouTube videos, business wise, again, if you want to, um, if I haven't covered it in this video, anything you wanted to always ask me or, you know, any question you have for me, leave it down in the comment section because I will be doing a Q&A video really, really soon. But this is my business one because it's long overdue. You guys have asked me this question like... I literally screenshot so many questions back all the way when I really started. I did answer a few questions, but a lot of stuff I couldn't really get to. So I'm going to answer as much as possible in this video. So like I said, I did screenshot a lot of you guys' questions. And yeah, we're going to jump right into this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so when I upload, you will not miss. Plus, I am doing Vlogmas, so I am vlogging every day or putting up content every day for you guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys appreciate that because it's really, really hard to do. Like, to post videos every day, to edit and do stuff. So you have to create the content. Edit the content, put the content up, and you still have to continue on every day to create different content for the next day. So it's pretty hard. I'm getting it kind of like a little tired, but I'm going to keep going, you guys. As long as you guys keep engaging, liking the videos, I'm going to keep going. So we didn't come to here for that. We came here so I can answer y'all questions. So the first question I always get, well, I got this question a million and one times. Um, what... What kind of packages you use to ship off your orders? So it depends on what you sell. If you're selling lashes, so let first of all, let me show y'all all the packages I have. So I have this little bitty itty bitty one right here. I have this uh, smaller one, maybe like a medium size. This is a bubble mailer. And I have another one, which is this small. This is poly mailer, the one that you don't really need so much protection. I suggest using this like for clothing and stuff like that. I use this for my shapewear and stuff like that. So don't use this if you have chemicals and stuff like that. Because, sis, y'all know how them U USPS people or whoever you ship with, they're going to throw your packages. So... Yeah, don't use that. And then you guys always ask me about my uh, lip gloss boxes. So I'm going to give you guys the size. And then I'm going to tell you what you can use each and every one for. So the Pink Poly Mailer, which is this right here. This is a 10 by 13, 6 inch. And you can find this on Amazon. As a matter of fact, you can find everything on Amazon. All of these, because I got every last one of them from Amazon. And then the pink bubble mailer is an 8 by 5 by 12 inches. And like I said, Amazon. And then the purple bubble, bubble mailer small, 4 by 8 by 4 inches. And then my boxes, the small boxes is 6 by 6 by 3 inches. And then the big box, which I don't have over here. But I'll probably insert a picture. But yeah, I don't barely use that anyway. But it's 11 by 8 by 2 inches. So I wrote down all my shipping mailings. So when I go into my Shopify, all I got to do is put in the inches of each sizes of each packaging that I'm using. So say if I'm just shipping off some lip glosses, it will go in here. And I'll put this into my Shopify. So is this is the small 4 by 8 by 4 inches. So I just put that in there and then it automatically give me like a total a price of the shipping. So yeah, keep in mind when you're shipping liquid products, lip glosses or whatever, you need bubble mailer, not poly mailer. Poly mailers are just these silk ones that you could just put clothes in. I prefer to put clothes in. Now this, you can use this for numerous things because it has the protection. I still say put bubble mailer on it, but it's totally up to you. So yeah, I hope that answered you guys' questions on um, what I use to ship my stuff off. 
So the next question I always get, get how do you set a shipping rate for your customers? So the shipping rate, I go by USPS because that's who I ship with. Um, the standard shipping, I think it's like $3.98 or either $4 and some change. It depends. I believe because sometimes they go up. I feel like they went up they did go up this month because everybody's gonna be shipping so I think the standard rate you go by what they're gonna charge you so you will not be coming out of pocket because your customer is supposed to pay the shipping rate now I have and I need to make a dedicated vid uh, video on this I have lost out so much money for just shipping alone because somebody will order like say if they order three lip gloss bases, the lip gloss base is like two pounds, probably like two pounds and some change. USPS gonna charge me nine dollars, and even though I use Shippo as my my secondary shipping or whatever um, to print at home, I still have to pay a price. Charge me nine dollars and some change, which the customer is probably gonna only pay like the standard shipping. So what you do is you have to go in your Shopify or whatever store you use, put in the weight of every one of your products. And then once your customer put everything in their cart, they'll total up the total weight and then they'll give them, you know, uh, an estimate of how much the shipping is. Now, I lost out a lot of money not doing that, but this I'm going to save that for another video. We're going to go detail in that. I'm actually going to take you guys onto my website so I can show y'all how it's done. So far as shipping rates definitely 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 go with the rate that you're shipping with the people that you're shipping with if that's ups usps fedex whoever you're shipping with go with their rates it's easier so the next question that you guys always ask me um who do i ship with i just explained that um, I ship with USPS. You can ship with anybody you want. It's up to you. I find that USPS is more cheaper than other ones or whatever. So yeah, you can ship with whoever you want. It's up to you. It's an it's a option on your website who you want to ship with. How do you print your labels at home? Okay, so I'm going to have to do that in a separate video. But I do use Shippo to print all of my shipping labels and also my pack and slip you guys can go with your website like shopify or whatever i feel like shopify is expensive for their shipping rates their shipping labels and all of that so it's a little bit pricey you can go to the app store on your shopify and it will give you a list of different places that you can ship with they have shippo they have pirate ship they have um a whole bunch of them but I use Shippo because I feel like that's the cheapest I heard a lot of people said power ship is cheap too so you have to just do your research and look and see what will work for you and I feel like shipping at home is very easy like to do like really really easy to do and I think that's my next question um, should should I ship from home should I ship from home or should I take it to the post office and ship my products and love your videos and i'm just starting my business well i would say shipping for home like i said is is easier because you get a like a percentage off like a little discount versus going into usps if you go in there you will be paying full price like say if i'm sending my cousin something for christmas and I go in there, I'm going to pay full price for a standard shipping label, which is probably like five, six, seven dollars um, versus shipping at home where I can get this discount from Shippo or whoever you use, which would be like four dollars and some change. So you are saving a lot of money being a business owner and shipping from home. So if that if I answered that question um, correctly, the next question <clears throat> that you guys want to know when starting your business was it hard to do um i believe i answered this in how to start my video i mean how to start your business i'll link it somewhere up here if i didn't answer it it was pretty challenging at the beginning because starting a small business is very challenging because it's it's, it's one of those things you have to be patient you're not going to get an order the first day you launch you're i mean 
left one of your family buy something from you, which happened to me. Uh, my mom and my sister them bought things from me before I launched. So that's how I got orders before I launched. But I didn't get any orders until maybe two days or three days. Um, and that's because I was promoting it on my YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, so you're not going to get those orders that you think you're going to get right off the bat. Like, it's going to take some time. You have to actually build people to come to your actually build people like you have to basically promote yourself continue to promote yourself on all of your social media platforms then people can trust you and they see your products and they like your products then they'll start buying people are not going to just order from you if they don't even know you or don't even know what your products is about so you got to basically show your products and you know tell what your products do and you know uh, recommend it to people and stuff like that and it's always of what you're selling as well so make sure you're targeting the people if you're selling lip gloss make sure you're hashtagging lip glosses and stuff like that so you can target the audience that looks for lip gloss or like lip gloss and they're most likely to buy from you instead of versus like say if i do fashion hauls y'all see i do fashion hauls and i sell lip gloss and stuff like that i'm not going to be tagging fashion hauls and clothes and all that type of stuff because it's going to target the wrong people they're looking for clothes they're not looking for lip gloss so i won't make a sale off of them you get what i'm saying so that's how i feel about starting a business it is a bit challenging was it hard yes it was um getting it from the ground and up i think i may do another video on that getting into details details and being honest with you guys it's a bit challenging and even for now even though i'm getting orders it's still a little bit challenging sometimes you will feel like you're not where you should i'll definitely say don't be comparing yourself to other people don't be looking at everybody everybody business because everybody's story is different so yeah stay in your lane and then you will start seeing your orders and stuff come when you're looking at other people and you're not getting orders it's going to get you discouraged and it's going to make you feel like oh i'm not going to get no orders and you're going to give up so don't do that so yeah hope that answered your question and i'm just going to answer two more because i don't want the video to be too long and whatever else i don't answer i'll do it in a q a and it'll be a little bit longer it says hey beauty by tanya i want to start a lip gloss and lash line i don't know how much money to start off with if it's possible can you give me an estimate of how much you think i will start off with it depends hon it depends girl it depends girl like when I first started, like this is not my first business. I did have like a lash line. It was called Slayle Lashes. It wasn't online and it wasn't as big as this one. Beauty by Tiny Collection. I would say I spent a lot of money at the beginning because I didn't do my research. I was just looking at what people had, like the boxes. They was custom made and this, this and that. And I went crazy. Like I was telling y'all, if y'all watch my other videos, I waste money on lash boxes that I didn't even get to use. So definitely, I would say before even starting a business, do your research on everything you want to know. Far as people will give you like, will basically tell you how much you would need to start a business. I would say if you want to start a lash line, I would say 60 to a hundred dollars is what you're going to start off with now i do have now i do have a wholesale program on my website where you can start your lash line for i think it's on sale actually because i think you get 10 for 60 but it's on sale now for like 30 some dollars so if you want to start one now you definitely can start it but i'm just saying like it's gonna take you 60 and you get free boxes by the way and you get to pick your own boxes so that's a steal but anyways if you want to start your lash line you're looking from 60 to a hundred dollars to start and um depending on your financials and you know where you are with your money it could be expensive it could be cheap so it's up to you um a lip gloss line you don't need much to start that like li literally like i said i do have a wholesale lip gloss program as well you can get the boss up kit little no more than 30 dollars. it has everything in the kit it has the starter lip gloss base it has the tubes, it has the syringe, it has the pot pads, everything you need to start your lip gloss line for like 30 some dollars. That's the cheapest thing. Or you can do it yourself and buy your own syringes, buy your own lip gloss base and stuff like that. It's going to run you about 40, 50 dollars if you do it that way. But it's really cheap to start a lip gloss line. So if you want to start a lip gloss line, 
and you're very young i feel like you can do it because it's cheap like you can use your allowance or whatever you have to do that so yeah starting a lip gloss line is really easy but lashes little it's not expensive but you have to put in money okay so the last question let me see i'm just scrolling through because i got a lot of questions but i just want to pick some that's relatable and then everything else i will um do in another video so i'm gonna say this but i'm not gonna answer it. i'm gonna answer it in another video she said hi tanya can you show us how to set up your website um i i currently just purchased my shopify website but i do not know how to set it up would you be able to show us in a entrepreneur video yes hon i will be doing that soon 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 as soon as i get a chance i will be showing you guys how to set up your website and all that stuff so let me see one more question one more question okay here's a good one right here hi beauty by tanya i want to start a business but i don't know what to start off with it's so many options out there like lip gloss lashes clothes purses and everything like that i don't know where to start i don't even know where to find a vendor at if you could let me know if you could let me know greatly thank you so um when starting your business and finding out what you want to sell you guys know i'm a one-stop shop so i have a variety of things on my website i sell purses i sell shapewear i sell lip gloss lashes stack pants dresses and just i was just selling everything on my website you guys so of course i had to look for different vendors for everything now i'm not gonna directly give you guys links and you know tell you the actual where to find it because you have to do your research when starting a business you have to do your own research i don't care what nobody else says in their videos or what nobody else tell you i've made mistakes off going on for other people do your own research i found that i come out much better when i do my own research so when finding a vendor go on google look up what you want to look up the keyword wholesale i can give you that keyword wholesale so say if you want to buy some glasses put in this wholesale glasses vendors are going to pop up from everywhere do your research look at their rates look at the people uh, reviews and stuff on that just do your own research or you have to get comfortable and get to know your vendor don't just be buying stuff from different people because i've heard stories where people have purchased stuff and didn't even get it it never happened to me now i experienced me ordering something for my business and did not get it until three months after three months and i said that in a previous video in my entrepreneur video i've ordered my glasses before i started my business and i didn't get it until september or something like that so that was like three months so do your research if i would have done my research i would have never went with that never went with that brand ever because of their customer service when i got back to them you definitely have to be careful with some of these vendors you definitely have to read and do your research in order to get your stuff because once you start your business and people are liking say if you order any um glasses and people are liking it and you're running out and you can't get it into two months you're losing money so definitely 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 do your research that's my overall thing on starting a business and do your research so yeah i don't want to make this video as long as it is i definitely wanted to answer you guys questions because i know y'all been asking me and i just haven't gotten around to it so i definitely really wanted to answer these because these are the most questions i get what size are your packaging mailing what are, what are you using so those are the most questions i get so i'm happy to answer that for you guys i hope this helped you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and before i leave you guys i still am doing small business promo um i have a few packages i'm just waiting on a few more so if you guys want me to actually review your product on here so you can get some sales definitely send it to my p.o box my p.o box is down in the description down below okay so yeah that completes this entrepreneur video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye